today's Gospel, Wednesday, June 16, is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 1 to 6 and 16 to 18. Jesus said to his disciples, But take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to others to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faith food reflection is from Brother Ariel Agsalud from ACT. God is good all the time. Jesus in today's reading teaches us about God's goodness and also wants us to share that goodness to each and everyone so that his goodness will multiply into the lives of our brothers and sisters. But we should understand that what we boast about is God's goodness and not our own good works. In fact, our goodness should be fruits of his kindness and love, which expects nothing but be multiplied to others. We do not help people to be glorified, but to share the goodness of God. Thus, God will be glorified. Today, we are as well reminded about the basic Christian holiness through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, the pillars, too, of Jewish piety. True holiness has no hypocrisy. When we pray, we present ourselves and listen to God who speaks to us in the silence of our hearts. When we fast, we offer a sacrifice for the good of others. And when we give alms, we give to the poor as God commands us. When we do not do this for show, praise, self-gratification, and instead do this in secret, it is only then that our goodness will reflect the true goodness and likeness of God. Let us pray. Lord, teach us to be truly generous. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.